What is up? Today, we're going to head down to the field and hit some cardio. I've been telling myself I need to do this for months. Probably years now, to be honest. Um, the type of cardio I've chosen to do is rugby. So um, I am a huge fan of rugby. If you don't know, uh, you may have come to this channel because I taught you how to play rugby in one form or another. Now, I haven't actually touched a rugby ball for a good 18 months, guys, unless I was down at the field trying to teach you guys something. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not getting any younger. I'm 26, and I know that if I don't get back to playing rugby soon, I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life. So today is the first day of, you know, it's not only just off-season cardio, it's, it's to get my hands back on the ball, it's to see if I enjoy running around, um, which I know I'm going to. So with that said, I'm going to have a shower, get my fucking shit together, get my boots out of the cupboard, I don't even know where they are, and uh, we're going to head down to the rugby field and have a little bit of a run around. Um, this, is, this is making gains, it's all about muscle gains, but, you know, I'm, I'm becoming increasingly aware of the fact that yeah, if I'm going to be playing something like rugby, um, I'm going to need to work on speed, agility, and, you know, just, I just got to get my, my hands back on the ball. If you guys play rugby, if you play sport, you know that if you take, you know, 12, 18 months off, it's not going to take long to get it back, but there's something about that feel of the ball, you know, which I can't, I can't really imagine it right now. I can't, I can't remember what it was like, so... I'm going to get my shit ready, have a shower, get changed, get my ball, get my boots, get my bag, get my drink, and head down to the field. And we'll see what happens. Peace. Alright. We're getting there. I will make it to the field, I promise. Now even I need to promise myself that because I've got to this point a few times over the last couple of months. Uh, ready to go down to the field and then I just think nah I can't be bothered so this morning I'm not going to allow that to happen and I'm going to get my boots and uh, how's the hair looking good all right boom okay boots Where is my rugby ball? There it is. Alright guys, so that's that. We're all ready to go. The next shot you see will be down at the field. Alright, so here we are. Down at the field. We did make it. Get my keys out. Boots on. Tell you what, this is a good feeling. Putting your boots on before you play or before you go to training is uh, it's a pretty sweet feeling. Especially when you're a back. I don't know how it feels being a forward because most of your training is probably going to be hit ups and tackles. Whereas if you're a back, most of your training is like running, doing moves. Oh my god. Fuck. So tight. So, yeah, all I'm going to do is grab the ball and uh, just do little kicks to myself 
just run onto the ball, practice a few steps, pass the ball to myself, yeah, and just generally just run around with the ball, really. And not only is that, you know, cardio, running, but I enjoy it, and it's going to just get my, my feeling back for the game, you know. Get the ball in my hands, start running around with it, kick the ball, see how we go. So that's just what I'm going to do first. We'll see what happens after that. I'm going to put some music in. Like running around with the ball and uh, with some epic music is pretty fun <laughs> in my book. So yeah. So you guys might have seen, I was practicing the same move over and over. Um, that's another thing I like to do when I'm by myself. There's no point just practicing skills. You've got to practice it in the game. So the thing I was doing then was acting like I'd been past it, out from the scrum or whatever. Because being in the back line, that's where I am. I'm out the side, waiting for the ball to be passed so we can run and use our speed and our skills. So I was uh, imagining I got past it and then first first thing I did when I get the ball is pop a little goose step and that puts the defender off balance from the start from there I try and accelerate around give a left hand fend if the defender was still on me hopefully the fend can get him off um, and then I'm practicing running around the outside drawing in that defender and passing or if that defender is drifting with my outside guy, I'm just going to dummy and go and go through. So that was the move I was practicing there. I'm going to continue that move, but what I'm going to do is instead of passing or dummying, I'm going to know that I'm going to hold the ball and I'm going to do a sidestep uh, on the inside, hopefully breaking the line and going through. So I'm going to practice that a few times now.
me, I'm all the way up. Hey.